This is a 1998 Ford Ranger. And you can see this little needle right here that allows you to see what gear you're in is out of alignment. Okay, to get this panel off, there's two Torx 20 screws back up in here. And then there's a screw here and a screw there. And those are seven millimeter screws. And once you get those out, all those out, pull down and push up and it'll slide off. Okay, now that the panel's off, you can see where all those screws match up. There's the two on the brake release and then the two at the bottom and then there's your two clips. Okay, now to take this panel off, there's four screws right here, or five, if you've got one here, mine's missing. Take those off. Those are eight millimeter screws, so get a long extension and an eight millimeter to help you get them off. This little gear, this little thumb wheel, right here allows you to align the shifter so you know what gear you're in and that's held up in place right up in here it's held on this little plastic thing right here and as you can see mine's broken here's the replacement part right here I had to get the auto parts store to special order it for me, but it's a doorman help 83244. That's the part number. And as you can see, it, this one's not broken right here. Here's the new part. And you can see the screw goes in there like that. And it mounts up in there like that. And this cable goes right through it like that. And you can adjust the wheel to get it where you need it. Now this little piece right here of wire that goes up in there, you see that little, that metal hook to the right? It hooks on that right there. And I'll show y'all what that looks like assembled. Now you can see how it goes up in there. Now just adjust that little thumb wheel and watch your indicator and make sure it lands on the gear that you want it to be in. Um, put your key in and keep the parking brake on and go through the gears and make sure it lines up good on all of them. And when you put that screw in, make sure you don't over torque it because you don't want to break that thing. It's like $15 part. I put a little bit of blue Loctite on there. That way it doesn't vibrate out and I got it snug, but don't get it super tight because you'll break it. I'll show you how to put the panels back on next. Okay, now put your four bolts back in. Or five if you've got one here. Mine's missing. And don't hook this up until you put the plastic back on. These are 8 millimeter bolts. Okay, now put your 7 millimeter screw back in here. Your 7 millimeter screw back up in here. And your two Torx 20 screws here. Once you just push the panel back on. And you're done. Now if you come up here and see the gear selector is where it's supposed to be, you put your foot on the brake and run it through the gears. And you can see they're all lining up perfectly. And now we're back to park. 
So yeah, guys, there you go. That's how you do it. Like and subscribe if this helped y'all out. Thanks.